Back with Bobby and JJ Radio. This is our Veterans Day show. We have um, some of our favorite veterans here in the studio. Mr. Bobby Erig. We have Richard Delgado, otherwise known as Skinny Richard. Thin Richard. Thin Richard. <laughs> and uh, Roy, which is belovedly known as, as now Arroz con Pollo, because he's Roy Orozco. So I want to thank, thank you guys for talking about all this stuff and all the things that are going on with our veterans here in the San Antonio metro area. I want to talk about some events because... Around this time of year, because of the Veterans Day, um, you know, time time frame, there's a lot of events. We'll talk about some of the events that are coming up, Richard. Yeah, so so the big one uh, that everybody could go to is the Veterans Day Parade on Saturday. Kicks off at noon, wanders through the street of downtown San Antonio, and we go right in front of the Alamo. Um, so we'll have Project Phoenix out there, and San Antonio will be out there. Uh, Iraq, Afghanistan veterans will be out there. I mean, you have numerous organizations out there, so that's easy. That's an easy one. Um, as I mentioned, Soldiers Angels, where y'all going to come help us give out food. Uh, That's and November then, 14th, which is Soldiers Angels. Yep, November 14th. Okay, and you're giving out food to um, either... 200 veteran families. 200 veteran families. Yep. Okay, awesome. What are some of the organizations that you're partnered with? Uh, for that for that event it, by itself mm-hmm. or... Or in general. Um, so Soldiers Angels is, is a huge partner of ours. Uh, Family Endeavors mm-hmm. is another one. Um, we got Wonder Warrior Project. So being at AM San Antonio and the Patriots Cross, so we really get to bring all those resources to campus. So to, for me to give you a list, I'll be here all day because San Antonio is known for the organizations and the nonprofits that are here in town doing amazing things. And the trade group. And the trade group. Wow. So the trade group will be out there. Um, because, Has, uh, hashtag shameless plug. Um, shameless plug. So the Veterans Parade on Saturday, and then you're going to have um, the Veterans uh, what's Veterans Week? What are the events that happen during that so week? So Veterans Week, so San Antonio, again, being Military City USA, uh, there's a, a total of, I think, two and a half weeks. It's almost three weeks now. Uh, it's called Celebrate America's Military. So if you go to Celebrate Amer- uh, CelebrateAmericasMilitary.com, uh-huh. uh, you can see all, I think it's like 50 some events going throughout San Antonio that you could take part in. Wow. And so, and that's just throughout the whole month. For the throughout month. the whole month of November. Absolutely. Cool. Um, now, we were talking briefly about Project Phoenix. I want to switch gears, cause I, and I, we'll come back to that right now, too, with, with Roy. But, Bobby, talk to us about family endeavors and what you guys are doing here in the San Antonio metro area. So we have two major uh, veteran programs. Um, one that I run is the uh, Homeless Veteran Program. So it's for at-risk and, uh, and veterans who are literally homeless in 25 counties of South Texas. Um, so we are uh, grant-funded, and we try and... Uh, help those who are literally homeless and chronically homeless um, get stable and get supportive services throughout the community. What kind of services are you talking about? Um, it could be anything from financial assistance to mental health counseling um, to finding affordable housing. Um, a lot of the veterans who have been homeless for a long period of time have a lot of barriers that, that most people don't think about because on a regular day we don't deal with them. Give us an example. Um, one could be um, they've had multiple broken leases because they just haven't had a steady job, sure. which could have been caused by post-traumatic stress and not getting mental health care for it. Right. So uh, we try and assist them with creating a plan and uh, kind of treat them like we did in the military uh, where they have a battle buddy to kind of transition through that. Sure. And then the other <laughs> program that um, we actually uh, have here with Family Endeavors is called the Cohen Military Family Clinic, uh, which is sponsored by the Stephen A. Cohen Foundation. It's 100% free. It provides... Um, uh, mental health and uh, family and group counseling for the veteran, the family member, and children all in one spot That's for awesome. free. Yeah. So awesome. they're homeless veterans. Is it because they don't, because I know they're kind of taken care of depending <coughs> on how injured or, or the percentage of, of disability, is it they don't get enough money from that? Or is it is there another cause uh, for um, it? Generally speaking, the ones you're talking about as far as getting disability mm-hmm. in that uh, are like, you know, our generation or regular people. Mm -hmm. So they have benefits, they have resources, they have support systems. Um, The homeless veterans in the San Antonio area and a lot of Texas have no access to benefits or resources. They don't have any type of disability compensation. Um, They might only just did their time and got out and then just got down on their luck and one bad decision leads to another, which leads to another and leads to them living on the street. For both you and Roy, because Family Endeavors and Project Phoenix how can we get involved in these two organizations? What's the best way to, to get involved with Project Phoenix first? Just come out. You come out. We have a, a weekly um, physical activities, and we, we have something going on every day of the week. Um, 
to walking to running to biking to Friday breakfast, which is is becoming a hit. Sure. We've had thirty people show up on a Friday morning and go eat tacos and coffee. You know, right. and um, I can sign up for that for sure. <laughs> I'm in. You're in. Um, so just coming out and, and meeting people, meeting veterans, meeting meeting the the community. Sure. Um, once once we share, you know, a meal or we share a run or bike uh, bike ride, you know, um, walls start dropping, relationships right. start building, and you know, you start helping each other, you know, build a family. Sure. And for family endeavor, what's the best way for us in the San Antonio metro area to get involved? Uh, we always are looking for donations. Um, it can be uh, tangible items like uh, food stuff or, or slightly used clothing or sl uh, business attire because we try and get them employed. O or you can make uh, tax deductible donations on our website as well. And your website is familyendeavors.org. Best way to get uh, all the stuff on Project uh, Phoenix is Project Phoenix SA Facebook page. Uh, to contact Family Endeavors, 210-431-6466. Again, that's 431-6466. Or uh, the, con the direct contact for Project Phoenix is 887-8986. Take a quick break. Be right back. <laughs>